Hey guys, in this video we're going to make it so that we can log in as a user and also register. And we also want to block access for creating galleries while, um, while as a guest, not logged in. Alright, we only want this link to show if the user is logged in. So, Laravel makes it really easy to create um, authentication functionality. You can see if we look in our controls folder now, there's already an auth controller in there. There's an auth controller and a password controller. All right, so this actually already takes care of a lot of the, the um, functionality. What we do need to do is we need to generate our routes. All right, so to do that, we're going to open up a command line and we're going to say PHP um, artisan and then we want to do make auth. All right, and that creates all our views for us. Uh, if we take a look now in where are we? we need views, and then it created this auth folder, and you can see we have login, register, uh, we have password, and our email resets, password resets, things like that. All right, so we can right off the bat now go to login. Alright, so it gives us this login page and it does all our validation for us. If I try and log in, it's going to give us our errors. Um, and then if I put something in that's not correct, whoops. Okay, so credentials do not match our records. So that's what we want. Now the login and registration pages look completely different than our templates, so we're going to have to take care of that. So what we'll do is let's go into our login view. Okay, we'll start with the login. And you can see if by looking at these classes, you'll see that these are Bootstrap classes. All right, this template is from Bootstrap. And we're not using Bootstrap, we're using Foundation. So what I'm going to do is open up another view that we have with our Foundation classes and I'm just going to copy everything from here and then paste it above everything in the login template and then let's get this ready so for the h1 we're just going to say login for this paragraph we'll say login to create a gallery and then everything in this main div I'm going to get rid of and then I'm going to go down to the login form and I just want the form no other classes or anything around it okay so just to the form tag we're going to cut that and then we can delete the rest of this login template alright and then we just want to paste the form in here alright so let's save that and then we'll reload the login page and now it looks perfect okay it's completely integrated with our template we also want to do the same thing with the register okay if we go to register it's going to give us that bootstrap layout all right so let's copy everything we put in our login and then open up register paste that in at the very top and then we're going to take out the for the login form and then we'll grab the register form okay let's go ahead and cut that then we can erase the rest of that register code and then just paste it in the main alright so now if we reload now we have our register okay we do have to edit the header So we'll say uh, register to create a gallery. And then the button down here, you'll see the register, it's lost its format. So we just want to change the class. Um, instead of this bootstrap class, we just want to say button. All right, and then for the login, let's do that too for the buttons. So if we go down to our submits, and let's change this 
to button and also this right here this is the the password reset all right now if I click this forgot your password we're gonna to want to change this as well so again we're gonna copy everything in the login temp the login view then we'll go to emails password.blade actually not no we don't want that we want um, these two email.blade so paste that in take out the form grab um, we want the form we also want this session stuff here so from there down to the closing tag the form okay then we can get rid of that and just paste that right in there all right and one more time I'm going to copy everything and log in and then open up uh, reset dot blade same thing cut all this out all right and then we just want to grab Let's see. Form down to form. All right. Oh, then we got to do the button. See, does this have a button as well? Yep. All right, so that's all set. Oh, we do need to change the headings though. For this one, this is um, what is this? This is reset email, right? Or forget email. And we don't have to have a paragraph here. And then this one reset. All right. So let's go to register and you'll see that even if we get some errors they're already going to show in this template we don't have to do anything else so let's go ahead and try to register an account all right let's see what happens okay so you're logged in it takes us to home which isn't what we want um, we can change that by going into the auth controller and this redirect to we just want to go to the home page all right now we're going to need a logout as well all right let's get out of this home all right so let's create a logout link if we go to our main layout and to the menu over here. Let's paste this in and we'll say log out and we'll change this to log out. Okay. Now the way we can tell right now that we're logged in is if I click on login it doesn't take us anywhere. It redirects us to the home page. Same thing with register. Now if I log out and then try to go to login, it lets me. All right, so we know that that whole system is working. All right, so now even though that I'm logged out, if I click create gallery, it brings me to the form and it's gonna let me do it. And I don't want that. We wanna block access to create gallery or upload photo if the user's not logged in. All right, so to do that, 
uh, we can use the auth middleware all right but to do that first we need to go to our routes and if we scroll down you'll see that there's these route groups well we need to be in the web middleware group if we want to be able to use auth all right and that's a new feature of, of um, 5.2 and it, it actually really confused me and took me a while to figure out how to do this so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab uh, just to, just to make it less confusing I'm going to put all my routes down here in this group or you, you can pick and choose if you're not going to use sessions and auth then your routes are fine up there but if you're going to then you want to put them in this middleware group all right so we'll save that and now if we go to let's open up the gallery controller and we want to go to the create method here this is the one that shows the form and what we're going to do actually first we have to include auth so we got to say use auth all right and then in the create method we're going to say if auth oops check okay so if logged in um, actually we want to say if we're not logged in so if not logged in then we're going to redirect so we'll say return redirect actually I'm just going to copy this right here we'll just get booted back to the index alright so let's try that out for reload well that didn't work oh I'm still logged in let me log out okay so now we know we're not logged in so create gallery and it's not gonna let us it bounces us back alright so that's what we want if I go to a gallery and upload photo it's gonna let us so we need to do the same thing here so let's go open our photo controller and same thing we want to say use auth and in the create I'm going to say if auth check, then we're going to redirect. I actually want to say if not auth check. All right, and we'll just redirect to gallery index, and we don't need to pass anything else in. All right, so that boots us out too. So we can do everything except upload stuff. We can't upload any photos or uh, gallery. Now I'd also like to hide this create gallery and also the upload photo if we're not logged in. So what we need to do is go to the view. Uh, actually for this over here, we wanna go to the main layout view. So let's see, layouts, main, and let's do a little if statement around this. We'll say PHP if not auth check. Actually, no, we want to say if auth check. If they are logged in, then they want to see this. All right, so you can't see it. Let's do the same with that photo link. I mean that upload link. That's gonna be in gallery show. And it's right here, so I'm gonna paste that in. All right. Okay, oh, log out. Uh, we also only wanna show that if we're logged in. So let's go back to the main route. And all we have to do is extend it to here. All right. 
so we're not logged in. So let's go ahead and log in. And now we see the create gallery, we see the logout. It lets us create the gallery. So everything's working. Um, oh, one thing, last thing, let's hide the login and the register if they are logged in. So we'll put that there. We're gonna change this to if, if not logged in, then we wanna show login and register. Just makes it a little more user friendly. There we go. All right, awesome. So that's gonna be it for this project. Hopefully you liked it, you enjoyed and uh, learned something from it. And I will see you in the next project.